the wreckage from Thursday night's Medevac Skylife helicopter crash was moved from the scene today. Good evening, I'm Grecia Aguilar. 23 ABC's Jessica Harrington joins us in studio with more on where the wreckage is now and how one of the one friend of the victim is coping today, Jessica. Well, the scene this evening was completely clear of officials, and around 5 p.m., the final pieces of wreckage were hauled away. But even with the wreckage gone, friends of the victims in the crash are still picking up the pieces. A truck towing the debris, a trailer, and a Kern County Sheriff's deputy made their way down a dirt road today, carrying the final pieces of the Skylife helicopter that crashed Thursday night. The mangled web of debris was piled and strapped down on a flatbed trailer. The Skylife logo still visible in the wreckage. Those parts headed to Sacramento, where the National Transportation Safety Board will continue their investigation. But tonight, a good friend and co worker says he's just trying to cope with the fact that one of the victims in the crash, 42 year old Marco Lopez, is no longer around. If Marco was in the ED that day, or if he was on the helicopter and we were in the field, or Whatever the case may be, we, we knew clinically it was going to be a, a good day because that's just how good he was. And Lopez wasn't working his typical shift. He was covering for a coworker so they could attend the company Christmas party. You know, he, he was being Marco. He was helping somebody else out so that they could, uh, you know, they could participate in the fun. And that's just, like I said, that's just the types of things that he did. And. That's what we loved about him. The two worked alongside one another for American Ambulance for 15 years. He described Lopez as energetic, fun-loving, and a known jokester. The guy was a, just intelligent and smart, and he was a great nurse. He really was. Lee says he hasn't been back to work since the accident and is unsure of what to expect once he returns. I know it's not going to be easy, and you know, expecting to see him, expecting to get calls and messages from him. But, um, you know, it's, it's a huge void. It really is. And Lee says Lopez fought hard for the position with Skylife, and he knows he died doing what he loved. The exact cause of the helicopter crash is yet to be determined. NTSB says a preliminary investigation will be completed this week, but the full investigation could take anywhere from six months to a year to complete. In studio, Jessica Harrington, 23 ABC.